Jane Cadwallader, Uncle Jack and the Bear Adventure. Copyright Ellie. Uncle Jack and the children were in the garden. Daisy and May were playing badminton, and Jim was busy with his homework. Suddenly, the phone rang. Jim, can you answer the phone, please? Asked Uncle Jack. It's your friend, Berta Black from Alaska. She's phoning from Anchorage. There's a problem with bears," said Jim. Uncle Jack said, "Bears? Tell Berta we're coming." Bears? Asked Daisy and May. How exciting! Said the children. Uncle Jack and the children, and Grumpy the dog. Put on warm sweaters and coats and hats and scarves. They flew in the balloon over the ocean. They saw whales and dolphins and islands with forests and mountains and waterfalls. Look, there's Anchorage. Berta Black's address was forty-four Forest Street. It was a big house with three floors, a garage, a basement, and a big balcony. Berta was on the balcony. Hello, welcome to Anchorage. Berta Black told them about the bears. There are many bears in the countryside around Anchorage. Anchorage is growing bigger and bigger, so we're living with the bears. But some people aren't careful. They don't put rubbish in the bin, and they leave food outside. They don't shut their doors at night, and they leave the windows open. Bears always look for food. And they learn where to look. Four young bears come to my street every day. Berta gave some examples. One morning, a cook opened the door and found two bears in the kitchen eating the vegetables. One night, a pop star found a bear in the shower. And a bear eating the toothpaste, and a toothbrush. One afternoon, a nurse wanted to go in a lift. There was a bear inside. One weekend, a farmer found two bears eating a bowl of noodles on his roof. People are afraid. It's dangerous for the bears to stay here," said Berta. She showed Uncle Jack and the children some pictures of Denali National Park. We can give the bears some sleeping medicine. Then we can put them in my caravan and take them to Denali," said Berta. Uncle Jack said, "That's a fantastic idea. Let's do it." The next morning. Berta put some vegetable soup into four bowls near the caravan. She put some sleeping medicine in the soup. Then she sat down and waited for the bears. Close your doors and windows. Don't leave food outside. Can you see a bear? Ring the bell. Uncle Jack and the children. Made notices and put them in the street. Jim found an app called Share with the Bears. They made a notice about this too. Get the free app, Share with the Bears. Can you see a bear? Clap your hands loudly.
put rubbish in the bin, and put the lid on. Suddenly, Berta called them. Come on, the bears are sleeping. It's six hours to Denali Park. Uncle Jack and the children helped to put the bears into the caravan. They were very heavy. Grumpy was very grumpy. He didn't like the smell of the bears. Berta and Jim drove in the car with the caravan. Uncle Jack, May and Daisy followed in the balloon. Berta taught Jim a song about bears. See if you can sing it too. The bear went up the mountain, the bear went up the mountain, the bear went up the mountain to see what it could see. But all that it could see, but all that it could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that it could see. They stopped to have lunch. Lunch was brilliant. Pancakes and milkshakes for the children. Cheese and salad sandwiches with a cup of coffee for Berta and a cup of tea for Uncle Jack. Grumpy stayed next to the caravan. Suddenly, Uncle Jack said, What's that? Our caravan is moving. Oh no! Some thieves are taking our caravan. Uncle Jack, Berta and the children jumped quickly into the balloon and looked for the caravan. Look, there it is, said Berta. The caravan went into the Fun Activity Caravan Park. Look, there it is, said Uncle Jack. In the Fun Activity Caravan Park, there were children roller skating and skipping and sailing on a lake. There was a band and children were dancing. There was a building which said, Come ice skating! And there were lots of caravans. Uncle Jack said, Grumpy, look for the bears, please. Jim said, Oh dear, all the caravans are the same. But Berta was pointing to one of the caravans. Wait a minute, she said. Suddenly, Grumpy started to bark and they saw two men running out of the caravan. They saw the four bears too. The men were scared. It's the thieves, said Berta. It's the bears, said Uncle Jack. The bears ran around the fun activity caravan park. The children jumped out of the way. The bears ran into the big building which said, Come ice skating. Uncle Jack and Berta went into the building too. They all laughed. Bears can't skate, said May. Uncle Jack and Berta gave the bears pancakes with some sleeping medicine. The bears went to sleep again. The people at the caravan park helped Uncle Jack and Berta to put the bears in the caravan and off they went to take the bears to their new home in Denali. The two thieves watched the caravan. I'm never going to steal anything again, they said. Uncle Jack smiled. Daisy and May invented a poem on the trip. Here it is. Can you change it for a wild animal in your country?